lengthening our telomeres to reverse aging. So this is uh, part two, really. Um, I guess it's the bonus, but this is quite a, uh, a large part of it here too, is we're gonna look at, now the telomeres are like, if you look at the slide here, there's a, a picture of the telomeres there at the tips of the chromosomes, the, the little yellow picture. All right, so you see that they are um, diminishing in size until uh, at the right hand side, the, that cell death, right? So cell disease and then cell death, and that's the aging process. That doesn't look pretty on that slide, does it? Like that's what happens or used to happen. <laughs> We're not gonna accept that anymore. So to grow younger, the telomeres have to grow back to their fullness, right? So the aging of the skin, the organs, the glands that we're working in the cells, they reflect damage or shrunken telomeres. So really telomeres can be the key to reversing age. So what we wanna do is increase the length of the telomeres, right? So this is what we're working on right now. And I wanna see how complete we are with that everybody in this group. Okay, let's check. Close. We're about 95%. So let's just give this another minute here. Oh, so if you would like to see this yourself, maybe you can envision it um, by looking at, like we saw the picture on the screen, right on the slide there. So if we can just see the telomeres expanding and lengthening, just, uh, you know, you can maybe even just kind of like pull them however you want to go through the steps of seeing this happen, just like, just imagine that we are lengthening those long streams here on the ends of the chromosomes, just back to their original beautiful length, healthy, healthy, non-aging, right, non-aging, longevity, the telomeres of longevity. Let's just see those. For everybody or as if you're looking at it for yourself just look at it for yourself <laughs> I'm doing it for everybody all telomeres on all of our chromosomes let's get all the telomeres lengthened increase the length right now okay About 99%. So let's just continue here while we're working on that last little bit. Um, so to grow younger, the telomeres have to grow back, right? So aging, the skin, the organs, the cells. So that's what we're working on still from the last slide. Okay, so that um, lengthening the telomeres to reverse aging. So telomere shortening can be seen as a biological clock that activates the ending of cell division as soon as its time is up, right? Maybe that's how it used to work for others. It's not working anymore for us. <laughs> Being forever young and ageless. Yeah, ageless is my, um, is my beauty program. Actually, it's the new age of ageless beauty. Um, so yeah, kind of like that biological clock is the way it had worked, right? So the uh, mechanism limits the life expectancy of our cells, which is why it's uh, real critical to all current research people are doing on aging and so forth, whether they're um, looking at this or not, they really should be because this is what, what that's what we're doing. So it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. We're doing it here today. So... All right, so let's continue on here. Telomeres, the protective cap, we already saw at the end of the chromosomes over time, they get too short to do their job. And that's what causes the cells to age, stop functioning properly. 
and it's that aging clock inside every cell. And telomere length decreases with age may predict your maximum lifespan. Isn't that interesting, huh? So normal cells lose telomeres with each cell division and have a limited lifespan. So that's also interesting. Normal cells tend to lose telomeres with each cell division. So if you can see the cell dividing and each time it does, it loses just a little bit off that little yellow cap. Not, not yellow, but in the slide it was yellow. So if we can see cell division now where the telomere does not shorten, but it goes to its full size, okay? So every time we have cell division, instead of losing telomere length, we are going to see telomeres pop back up to their, their original uh, template, our original divine template, which has optimal telomere length. All right, so we're gonna see that for you right now. Yeah, I like that. Yes, the telomeres have a protective effect on DNA. So these are the portion of the chromosome that contains no genetic information and then they actually erode throughout your lifetime with each replication until they almost disappear to leave the DNA information bare, just sitting out there, right? So, so DNA is no longer protected then when it replicates. So it's critical information can get chewed up, you know, chewed out, chewed up, <laughs> whatever. Um, and it can lead to death of the cell or change the cellular cycle by creating, say, cancer cells. So that's how that can happen. So the rate of telomere shortening in the cells increases by exposure to DNA damage. Now, DNA damage can be caused by inflammation in the body, right? The inflammation, uh, you know, that can be from, like we were talking about the adrenals and the cortisol, right? Can lead to inflammation. Um, and then UV, you know, ultraviolet light, oxi oxidation, uh, oxidative stress, uh, sudden loss of large amounts of telomere DNA can happen that way. So that's how it worked in the past for others, but it's not working anymore for us, right? So no more short telomeres. We're gonna keep all of our DNA information intact inside the chromosome, safely protected by a full length size of telomere. See that right now for all your DNA. Beautiful DNA chromosome with the beautiful caps. Full length protective caps in place. All DNA, all cells. Okay, so let's check. Wow, we're doing it. We're about 55% there. Nice. Woohoo. Yeah. Telomeres and depression. I'm, just, I'm gonna keep going here. Um, studies have shown that depression leads to shortening of telomeres and that can cause cell death in most rapidly dividing cells. The result is prematurely aged hair and skin. But when you exercise, move the body and so forth, that's going to increase the length of the telomeres. But inactivity, just sitting around, you know, most of the day, if you have a, a job like me sitting <laughs> sitting in an office, right? My office, but still I'm sitting here um, in activity, right? Or obesity also shortens them. So just, just knowing that right there uh, makes me want to just go outside and run around the block <laughs> actually <laughs> or do something. I did some yard work over the weekend and that was really nice. Um, 
use some muscles I hadn't used in a long time. <laughs> Raking up some old, old stuff, leaves, twigs. Guys were cutting branches off trees. So I didn't hit the, hit the stuff overhead. <laughs> so a lot of that kind of work. Let's see that I have a little bruise right here. Wow. Okay. Just one. I'm surprised there's not more, but <laughs> what I did, but that's okay. So uh, let's check now where we're at. About seventy percent. Yeah. Okay. Let's make sure we get those telomeres where we want them. So anything on, on the cells that we are working in that would encourage aging, uh, creating a set point for our age, and anything that would be against our own longevity, all those areas of the body, we are working right now in those areas to increase the telomere length. So let's continue with that clearing. Yeah, I think that's where we got a little confused because it was it's it's only in the in the uh, telomeres around aging. Uh, any of anything that would cause in our in the chromosome in the DNA around aging because it's like really everything wait a minute we didn't clear everything. <laughs> okay, well okay we're maybe 50 but we could have been okay um, yeah so now we're closer to 99% yes okay so let's continue with that and then telomerase all right so in 85% of tumor cells, lack of telomerase allows cancer cells to be immortal and to divide indefinitely. So this is the lack of telomerase, and that occurs in adult human cells, lacking the enzyme telomerase. So let's optimize our telomerase now. So this is an enzyme. Let's see it going if it was, you know, at full, or excuse me, at empty here. We want to see a meter. Right, going from empty, you know, we're half full, we're going towards all the way full, whatever that happens to mean for your body. You can see this meter just filling up with beautiful uh, enzyme telomerase. Wonderful, let's check. Here we are at right now. So the cells, enzyme telomerase in the cells. Let's check to see if 100% is optimal, what we're looking at, 100% optimal, whatever amount that is, if it's, you know, an ounce or 60 ounces, I don't know. <laughs> whatever that happens to be, we don't care. We're not specifying the actual amount, but we're saying 100% optimal. Whatever that happens to be for you, we're going for 100% optimal levels of the enzyme telomerase. So the optimal level, we'll know that by getting to 100% to the optimal level. So we'll see where we're at right now. Seventy-five percent there, very nice. So we're about three quarters on the meter scale here, right? So let's just continue on for just another minute. I want to make sure that we get this one on the full mark, yeah. Seventy-five percent. So see this beautiful, beautiful tank just being filled completely where we need to be with telomerase
I keep thinking of the the message, the healing from mom and dad and grandparents. How appropriate that was to get that message this morning to give to you right before we went live. So that's a beautiful, beautiful thing, really. All right, so let's check our level now. About 84%. In 85% of tumor cells, it's the lack of telomerase. Okay, so now where we're at. We're closer to 90% right now. So this is a this is a biggie. So, so important. Um, so let me just continue on with that and um, just remind you to drink water. So now let's check again. Telomerase. Oh my gosh. I think we're at, I think we're at 100%. Let me just verify. Oh my goodness. Yes. We're at 100%. Optimal. Optimal levels of telomerase is the enzyme for you right now. Yeah, 